So we're finally nine episodes in of Blaze Blue Auto Memory in regards to my breakdown and review. And I felt it was appropriate to talk about one of the worst parts of Blaze Blue Auto Memory, that being Subaki Yayoi herself. Now, I'm going to lay it all on the table as I did many times before. I am not a fan of Subaki. I understand she has her fans and I can understand why people like her. I just don't. And I think Alter Memory is a f part of the reason why. See, Subaki is a character in Alter Memory who is loyal to the NOL. She is part of Zero Squadron, so they kind of have to do this whole, you know, taking care of the dirty work of the NOL. And she is on a mission given to her through the Imperial Order to kill both of her friends, Noel and Jen. So, that's Tsubaki's essential role in Blaze Walter Memory. She's supposed to go off and essentially kill her friends. So, why is there something wrong with this? The, the thing I just don't like about Tsubaki and Alter Memory is that she is, like, she's this weird entity who's just angry. Because she, like, okay, how do I explain this? Let me start from the beginning. So, it originally started out in Ultimate where she was given an Imperial Order by Hosma in order to kill Noel and uh, Noel and Jen, right? She starts to struggle a bit, you know, start to doubt, like, is this the right thing to do? Um, but she goes on her mission anyway because it's an Imperial Order, she's loyal to the Imperator, you know, yada yada. So she goes do the mission. Uh, she goes to Jen first, and she tries to talk to Jen. She uses the barrier move. I think this, if it's a Zonki barrier, I think, of the Ezioid. And well, they don't explain it in the anime, but I'm trying to remember from the games. And they, she deploys the barrier and tries to tell uh, Jen all about it. She was told that she was given an imperial order to kill him, and while she doesn't want to do it, she has to do it. She's just following orders. And you know, like Jen's all like, "Okay, look, uh, why are you using the easy way? It's going to steal your light. What's the, what are you doing?" And she says she needs the easy way to keep up with you know both Jen and the well. She's mentioned that before. Like she, she cannot. Keep up with them unless she uses the easy way, even if she sacrifices her light to do so. So, Hazma gets into her head for a bit, telling her, like, oh, well, shoot, don't you understand this is an Imperial Order? Do your thing. And she does her thing and kills Jin, which requires Takamagahara to use Phenomena Intervention in order to essentially rewind time back to where Jin was still alive. Okay, so that means that first encounter with Jin didn't happen. So the next encounter Tsubaki has in her next major thing is with Noel, and she meets Noel, and she tries to talk Noel out of it but after just a while she's all like okay whatever i'm just gonna fight you back anyway you suck Noel, because you're staying by jen's side you know uh why you get to be with jen see the thing about it is the thing about subaki is that she's clearly in this defending jen right and, and at some points in the show what even though she's fighting and has to kill jen she's up near ragna and noel trying to defend jen Right, knowing that he went AWOL from the hospital, knowing that he left the NOL, she still continues to defend the guy despite being ordered to kill him. And when she confronts him, she asks, Okay, why you leave? He says, Okay, well, I gotta go, you know, I gotta fight my find my enemy. And she's all like, Well, if you come back with me, you know, we can just handle this already. Jin says, No, she's like, Well, I guess I gotta kill you now, I gotta activate the easy way off you now. And that's what gets me about it. Now, Tsubaki clearly gave her friends chances to come back with her. She didn't try to struggle even harder than that. She asked about maybe once or twice. She asked them a question of why they're doing this. Noel even says, her, both Noel and Jen actually said that the NOL is in the wrong because there's, there's something odd about this. But Tsubaki herself can't see the bigger picture. She didn't stop to try to figure out why is this so wrong. And when one point she didn't want to do it, Hazma got into her head. So eventually at one point, it's like, okay, Tsubaki can't really see the bigger picture and if she tries to Hosma will just come back into her head and try to manipulate her into killing of uh, Jin and whatnot. See the one thing I don't get about the whole killing Jin thing in Alter Memory is that Hosma clearly made her do it and yet he wasn't aware Takamagahar was going to do it and even though killing Jin was going to cause any plans. Like I know he did it, you know, even though Jin had nothing to do with his plans at all. He knew that Takamagahara was going to do something, but even so, it doesn't really matter. But I guess it has something to do with him eventually going to the terror and using Phantom to do it. But that makes even that makes no sense. But anyway, um, so Subaki had one, a couple points tried to say, okay, look, stop. 
And then like it gets even I think it gets even worse with no uh, nurse um Noel's first encounter with her. Because no even though Noel already knows that she's uh Subaki has been ordered to kill her. And you know Noel tries to stop this. She even says that Bulwark won't let her shoot Subaki. But Tsubaki keeps going to the defensive and killing Noel. Even Hanzma comes in and tries to play up, you know, play up her anger towards Noel. Like, oh, you took over my position in the world. You suck. I hate you, Noel. Blah 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 blah. So that kind of it, it it's iffy because considering that we don't have much of back in the way of backstory uh, for Tsubaki, right? We don't have her backstory really. The only time we see any kind of backstory to these characters. Uh, regarding Tsubaki is when she is in the library studying about the Dark War and when she's in the library again when Jin meets her for the first time. Now, you don't understand why Jin and Tsubaki, like why Tsubaki is so insane for Jin. Because of Tsubaki's backstory, it's like Jin was her really her only friend after she lost all her siblings and, you know, being in, in the Yayoi family wasn't really good enough anyway. So, that's why she's like, you know, has a crush towards Jin. But in Alter Memory, it just seems like she had a crush on Jin, and, you know, there's no interaction between the two, and considering that, there's no interaction between Noel and Tsubaki and Jin at all in Alter Memory, except when they fight each other. You know, there's, like, no bringing up, it's like, oh, no, Jin, I love you, and I don't want to do this. No, it's just like, I've been ordered to do this, you know, my love means nothing, and then, you know, <laughs> kill him. And I just, I feel Tsubaki is, like, a terrible character in Ultimate Memory. I feel like she's one of the worst parts. And on top of that, it makes each episode she is in longer than it has to. Because it's, okay, episode six of Ultimate Memory, it's like half the episode is like, you know, Bang showing Jin around Ikargo. The other half is him, uh, Jin fighting Tsubaki. Tsubaki tries to tell Jin, no, we don't want to fight. They fight for a little bit. Um, well, not really fight for a bit in that episode. Jin gets stabbed before anything really happens. Subaki cries that she didn't want to do it. And talk about Harvey Weinstein. So episode eight comes around. And then, like, this is where Noel meets Subaki. And it's, like, one of the weakest episodes in the series. Be not episode eight, my bad. Episode seven. Got that backwards. Um, episode seven is when Noel and Subaki meet up. And the thing about it is, like, with it, it, the episode stretches, like, really stretches. And the entire episode is just a fight. You know, Relius and Rachel and Ragnar are watching the fight between the two. Relius is up there doing his own business, right? Rachel and Ragnar is just along for the ride, right? So, so Subaki and Noel fight. And then she sees that Noel is willing to knock the towards. She knows she sees Bulwark. And she's like, oh, you, how you get a Noxian Taurus? Why'd you get that? Look at you, just keep getting things you don't deserve. See, Tsubaki's main thing about this is that, you know, she was meant to be by Jin, you know, be his secretary of sorts, right? And because Noel is like this person who came from literally nowhere, and she didn't work as hard as Tsubaki, and yet is gifted with this her high Ars Magus talent to be by Jin, and Tsubaki worked hard to get there and just to get snuffed and Keep in mind, she willingly volunteered for the Zero Squadron, so, you know, there's that. Um, but, yeah. I, like, and, and then the moment she sees that Noelle's willing, like, she, first of all, she attacks Noelle before all that. But she sees Noelle willing to knock. She's like, okay, you're taking the things you don't deserve. You get to be by Jin. You get to do this. You're, you're, you don't deserve all this. There is there a reason why Tsubaki feels this way? No, there's no backstory to explain that. It didn't show in no backstory where Tsubaki was secretly uh, resenting Noel. She just comes flat out of nowhere with this shit. She was at first hesitant on doing it. But then it's like, oh, well, pff, you suck, Noel. You keep doing, you keep taking all the things I want. And then Hosma's playing that up. Why? Why does Tsubaki feel this way? Nobody knows. Like, it's not showing why. It just hints at it, but it doesn't really say it. Actually, it doesn't really hint at it. It doesn't really say anything. Like, you know, you think that, you know, with Tsubaki being Noel's friend, there could be some conflict going on, right? And it could have been a backstory or Tsubaki as she was going to, like... She did have, like, this slight flashback to where she was with Jin at, you know, a different point in time, right? Uh, keep in mind, that has no standing in Alter Memory. It's just um, made up. Like it's, there's no standing in Ultimate Memory, but there's no like um like um any standing to it. It's just the scene that's there because it's from the games. 
and this would bothers me like it's just she's she's so crazy and out of her gourd in this adaptation and plays it up too like it makes Tsubaki seem like she's unhinged and like you know like, like her whole motivation is like okay I'm doing this for the Imperator Jin himself is actually on the high ground for once right Jin himself was on the high ground telling Tsubaki he's like okay one how do you why did Karga suffer even though it's like the Karga suffer because it didn't want to been to the Imperator's will why she killed why they got killed and you know ruined the homeland. Subaki has nothing to say that she just tries to play the place uh, trying to blame the place to blame on Jin because he was the one who did the war. He was the one who won the war, my bad. And this would gets me because like why? Why is Subaki this way? Like I know as again before I don't like her, right? Like I, I get that She's already she's already jealous for people around Jen, right? And then Ragna comes down during the fight. She blames Ragna for being the one that oh, if it wasn't for you, Jen wouldn't be here. And technically, she's right, but at the same time, she's right for like Jen's stupidity because Jen was the one who wanted to leave, you know, just for Ragna's sake. But knowing that Jen left and knowing she has to kill Jen, right? She still tries to defend him in Noel's fight. You know, it's so weird to why she would defend the man. Like, she wouldn't go towards to him and, like, you know, like, she did ask him, why would you do this? Why did you go off to do this? And, you know, Jen's like, okay, well, I got an enemy to fight. I don't, you know, I got an enemy to fight. I got to do some of my own to not find my answer. You know, I don't want to go back to the NOL because, you know, it was a bad place. Keep in mind that Jen actually left the NOL for, like, just because of Ragna and didn't even, like, you know, like, didn't even really, like, say anything much about it, and he only really thought of something because of Bang and, you know, him meeting the NOL children. I feel like Jin is even have a he even higher standing, even though him becoming the arbiter of law and order is stupid, because for everything wrong Jin is doing, it's making Tsubaki seem, like, even worse than she already is. And she's just, like, she, I don't know, man. She has an unhealthy attraction to Jin. Now, you could at least justify that somewhat in the games, right? In this version, no. She's just crazy for the guy. Like, no reason whatsoever. The one relationship thing, actually two, you get with her and Jin is, one, she uh, blushes when Jin was around and Tsubaki, I mean, no, oh, sorry, Makoto teases her about it. Two, she says that Jen is just a friend of the family, and that's it. Like, you know, that's in the same scene. Don't get me wrong about that. But there's nothing here, right? And then, like, in the, in the, okay, so in the games, right, is she's getting brainwashed to do all this stuff, right? She gets brainwashed to do this shit. And it's implied that Hosmas from afar is doing this stuff. But, like, it's not like, um, it's not like, um, not too rough, right? It's like not explained too heavily on if she's doing this of her own will or if she's just doing this because she's kind of crazy. It's kind of like a both kind of thing. Uh, Hosma, you know, goes back and forth. Actually, in his first encounter, actually, my bad, when Noel's pfft, Tsubaki's first encounter with Jin, right? So, uh, she's like, okay, I don't want to do this. I'm going to activate the Zanki barrier. I'm going to tell Jin, um, you know, I don't want to do this, but since I've been in the order, I got to do it, right? So there goes that. She kills him, right? And she starts crying at the worst, like, I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to kill Jen. So here's what bugs me about all that. She was willing to kill the guy. Okay, granted, she was brainwashed. But the second time she meets Jen, she was ready, off, ready to kill him, right? And not even just that. Like, in her fight with Noel, Subaki was all too ready to kill Noel. And then even after the fight started, and even after Subaki had told her that she still loved her despite all of that Subaki did say that okay I'll forget what happened now but I will come back and kill you I will come back and finish my orders so Subaki was clearly coming back to kill Noel despite Noel saying all that stuff she was just like okay whatever like and then Jin brings up a moment in their second fight and Jin brings up okay so the Imperator you're loyal to the NOL you're loyal to the Imperator but why what have they done for you to be loyal to them? Subaki, honestly, like, I, she doesn't have an answer for that one. 
Like, she just, you know, after, that's after Jim beats her. Like, she has no answer. And even Jin's like, okay, the Sabaki I would know would be smarter than that. Yeah, because, like, that she's being incredibly stupid, being loyal to someone who doesn't deserve it. And considering that she doesn't have a backstory to explain why she's loyal to the NOL and why she's doing the thing she's doing, it just makes her seem like she's just this crazy soldier who's loyal to these people who are pretty evil. Like, in her eyes, really, anyone who opposes the NOL, and keep in mind, Noel and Jin left the NOL, so they oppose the NOL as well. And the thing is, the like, I even outside of the ad adaptation, it's kind of dumb, right? You know, Subaki sees things as black and white. There's no gray in the middle. She does that in the games as well. There's no gray area for her. Everything is either evil or good. And if, the thing about the series is that at least most of the cast has a reason to go against the NOL. Because the NOL wasn't the scene as this pure, um, this pure thing, right? For example, she blames Ragnar, right, for being indirectly responsible, right, for causing Jin and Noel to leave the NOL. She she's never met the guy before, right? It is, actually, that's not even just the ultimate. It happens in the games as well. Like, she hates Ragnar, right? Okay, granted, she can hate him for being a criminal, but that's not even why she hates the guy. That's like the like she will bring up his crimes, but. Tsubaki doesn't even hate Ragna for that reason. She only, she hates Ragna for causing Jin and Noel to leave. You know? And then even after the fact, even after all this stuff was settled in Chrono Phantasma, she still hates the guy for just hurting Jin and Noel because he lost control, you know, turning Black Beast mode and because of the Imperator, and, you know... And then she later vows to kill the guy. So... I, I, that's an example of why I don't even like Tsubaki to begin with. She just hates people. And, and she still keeps that whole black and white thing. There's no gray with her, you know? That's one thing I don't like about Tsubaki, and it's exemplified here in the anime. If you don't like the NOL, you're automatically evil. There's no there's no right way about it. You could be a person who walks up to her and say, I don't like the NOL, I don't like what they're doing, and she will immediately kill you on the spot for it. And, like, I, I just... I, I got nothing for this man. She means well. Don't get me wrong. Tsubaki means well. She cl showed clear some hesitance. I wanted to kill her friends, right? But immediately she just like, okay, shit. I guess like if you guys ain't gonna listen, might as well. She hesitates, really. She hesitates. She tries to like in the games at least. In the games, she hesitates to fight Jin and even tries to not kill them, even after. Terami slash Hosma gets into her head, right? You know, even after that. Then, like, then she's like, well, pfft. I mean, okay, be fair, I can't blame the game one, though. No. I can't blame the game one, because at least even after she tried to kill Noel and Jin in the games, you know, Terami's just, you know, he's bumped up that damn mind eater and, you know, got her there. But in this version, it just makes Tsubaki just, like, hate Noel for no reason and hate Jin, like, not even hate Jin, my bad, kill Jin. Because she was told to. Like, she didn't try to question it. Even though it was an Imperial Order. Yeah, she's loyal to the Imperial Order. But she didn't try to question it. She didn't try to think anything was wrong with it. Like, she didn't ask, why Jin and Noel? Oh, because they left the NOL. Okay, why not arrest them? Okay, like, oh, wait, no. Because the Imperial Order is absolute. And if anyone so as much leaves the NOL, then something happened. Like, there's no reason to, like, track down Jin and Noel and, like, and then, like, Tsubaki would wonder, never wondered why her, you know, why was she chosen to do this, right? And, like, in in the freaking anime, they, they she's, like, after all that crap, she fight both Chin and Noel, fails to beat them. She, she, she just realizes, oh, man, they don't like this. They don't like the way how I like the NOL. Like, damn. You know, like, like, she literally tries to kill herself, dude literally tries to kill herself because of it and it just makes me laugh that they had to go that route to make you feel bad for Subaki. and i'm like oh my god are you kidding me <laughs> like it's messed up when jen of all people has the high ground over her when he's the one telling Subaki her justice sucks keep in mind jen is not even the most morally upright person either so telling Subaki that like ugh. Like, like, look, the anime does not do Tsubaki any favors at all. 
like it, it doesn't try to make you sympathize with Subaki. It doesn't try to make you care about Subaki. It, it 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 literally tries everything it can to make you hate her. You know? Like, honestly, it's funny that even in the anime she tried to kill herself after she couldn't beat Jin and the well and, and the fact that Jin's like, okay, you're just a sucks. She tries to kill herself due to her loyalty over the NOL. It's like, okay, well, if I couldn't do my mission, I'm not worth anything. That could have worked as an angle if I cared about Tsubaki in the anime, but I don't. <laughs> oh my god, dude, she sucks. <laughs> like, honestly, it's so weird, man. It's so weird. Like, there's no there's no backstory for these characters in all to Like, except for Ragna, Jin, and Noel. And barely any for Jin. It makes Jin just seem crazy. Like, there's no backstory for Jin. She's just like, oh, well, I got a story. I guess I'll kill my brother with it. Um,. Keep in mind, Jin has done nothing even remotely good in the series. Like, you first meet him when he's opening the Imper Imperial Command, right? To, and then he's told, like, like, he sees Ragna's name, and he goes out to find Ragna, right? He gets his ass kicked by Ragna, and then ends up in the hospital. He leaves the hospital, and then travels around until he counters Bang and gets his ass kicked by Bang. Now... The one thing I, I get what they're going for is have Bang show Jin around Ikaraga to show that what the NOL has done. So Jin starts to realize that the NOL is corrupt, right? But it doesn't play into Jin's character in the anime all that much. He only brings it up when he's around Subaki. Otherwise, he wouldn't have brought it to anyone else. He just doesn't give a shit. He brings it to Subaki and is like, well, my true enemy is Ragnar the Bludge. I have the power of order. And since Ragnar represents disorder, I guess I have to go kill him. Like, nothing has changed. It's really re reset back. Like, he was going to fight Ragna regardless if he was going to be chosen by the Power of Order or not. So, what's the point? Anyway, back to Tsubaki. In the, okay, in the series, right? She was taught, literally from the day she was born, that the NOL was great, right? The NOL was great. They were just. They was right. They were, they were the holiest figure in all the land. And that gave Tsubaki more of a black and white view of the world. And then on top of that, she had a bunch of other issues. She already lost family members and whatnot. She got screwed over a bunch of times, even when she was younger. So, you know, you could understand why Tsubaki was somewhat loyal to the NOL and why the Imperator was, you know, all about this stuff. Why she was why she even cared about the Imperator, despite the Imperator not showing anything righteous. But in the anime, since they don't really do all that, since you don't get anything about Tsubaki's backstory, which they could have saved a few minutes to do. No, she's just this black and white character who like, like who just wants to be like, just like, oh, well, everything sucks. <laughs> like, uh, uh, um, um, the NOL's bad. I mean, I'm sorry, the NOL's good. Y'all are bad. She can see a little kid in the street. And if that little kid's holding up an NOL bad sign, I feel like she'd just stab him in the chest with the easy way. <laughs> Uh, now, now here's the thing, right? It comes into play where Hazuma tells Noel that she shouldn't exist in the main timeline, the can the canon timeline, because she essentially usurped Tsubaki over her position in the world because Noel became Jin's quote unquote secretary, and despite Noel being very inferior to Tsubaki in regards of qualifications, Tsubaki kind of fades into obscurity. Jin doesn't really give a damn about her. And she can't really stop Jin from going after Ragna. But keep in mind that she couldn't stop him anyway if she wanted to. Anyway, keep in mind that the Wheel of Fortune stuff, to keep in mind this is the story stuff from like the drama CDs and whatnot, the Wheel of Fortune stuff doesn't play into this. So how, like, it's confusing because you never know what Hazama really means if you're just watching Alta Memory. What do you mean? She Noel shouldn't be here, and she replaced her. What does that mean? They don't explain it at all. They just say that, oh yeah, Suba no, Noel's not supposed to be here. Why? What's the reason? Why is Subaki here? Hi, <laughs> dude. This sucks. Subaki sucks. <laughs> oh man, she sucks so hard. And on top of that, like. There's no redeeming qualities about her in this adaptation at all. That's what sucks. As I said before in the games, I don't like her, but god damn it, at least I could feel something for her. At least I don't have to feel complete and utter anger over her, but not in the end. Like, yeah, man, she just... She 
she's garbage in the anime. She doesn't... I don't feel bad for her at all. I kind of want her just to go away. <laughs> and she just drags out every encounter she's in. Oh, my God, dude. But, yeah. She has no reason to hate Ragnar. Like, give me... Look, okay, look. If she was just hating Ragnar for being just a criminal and being a bad guy, totally understandable. But, no, she had to drag... Ter um, not Terry, my bad. She had to drag Jin and Noel in this. Because Ragnar existed... That Noel and Jin were after him. Well, Jin was after his ass, and Noel were after him. So, like, ah, oh man, Ragnar, if you didn't exist, literally, just word for word, if you didn't exist, then Jin and Noel wouldn't be against the Noel. And I'm all like, okay, really? Like, you couldn't blame him for being. You couldn't be mad for being a terrorist. Like, if you were pissed at him for being just a terrorist and destroying Noel branches, the very organization you worship. Completely understandable. That's I am perfectly understandable. Perfectly understandable. You don't even have to know the guy. You could just. You, I, I, I'm not even going to trip on um, Subaki getting to know Ragna. As long as she knows he's a criminal, a bad guy, and he's paying to be his bad guy, I would have been cool with that. But no, she had to drag Jen the well to it, which made this means she made it personal, which means she now she has to see Ragna's point of view, and she never tries to. So boom, that's the end of it. I'm done talking about Tsubaki because she sucks in Alter Memory and I will not, I will stand by that.